uh, the MP for Ashfield, Lee Anderson. Lee, good evening to you and thanks for joining us. Good evening. Uh, well, I have to say, we've just been having a little bit of a debate here and now, Lee, about what, you're, uh, what you were suggesting, as I understand it. Uh, what you were saying today is essentially, and I quote, uh, it's all about people basically using uh, a food, um, you know, like a, what, well, a food bank, that's the word. I lost my train of thought there. You're using food banks, apparently, because they don't know how to cook from scratch and how to budget. Yes, am I right? Is that your it's, sentiment? It's very convenient how some of the mainstream media have clipped that speech today. I've put the full speech out on, on, on my Facebook post. You can, anybody can check that. But the point I'm making is a serious point. I work very closely with the local food bank in Ashfield. And, and we've recognised together that there, is, there are a lot of people out there who don't have the, they don't have the experience in, in cooking, and they struggle to budget, and more importantly, they, they struggle, they've got very, very little shopping skills. So when they go to a supermarket for a shop, they, they don't have the skills that my mum and my grandma had back in the day where they could buy fresh vegetables um, you know, and, and cheaper bits of meat and, and cook from scratch. Um, and make nutritious meals for their family. So my food bank have recognised this, and what we do now at the food bank is, when people come in for a food parcel, they are they are signed up for a cooking course and a budgeting course, uh, and they get that food parcel on the condition they sign up for that, and that's what they're doing. They're helping people who have a real need for food, but what they're learning is is that people, once they learn how to cook, and once they learn how to cook from scratch and buy, and, and, you know, buy on a budget, they can actually do it. And the good news is, once they can do it, they've got a few more quid in their pocket at the end of the week. Surely that's got to be a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I would. I mean, it's hard to agree uh, that anyone, sorry, would disagree with the sentiment that if someone is able to cook, uh, etc., then that would be a good thing. I think we're all in agreement with that. But. You know, we talk here about the sentiment of cooking meals from scratch. And by the way, if the invitation is open, I would be delighted to come to your food bank and have a look at what's going on. But what would you say? Do you concede that there are some people that even if you show them how to uh, cook from scratch, even if you show them how to budget, they simply do not have the funds to be able to heat their food and eat decent food, uh, nutritious food. Do you concede that there are people that have done their best and they still don't have the money? Well, this is why we, we, we do batch cooking at the food bank. We teach people how to batch cook for a whole week. Now, we, we did a, uh, a small project and we filmed it. I can send you the details where we took some school children to the local supermarket and we, we spent 50 quid. I gave them 50 quid out of my pocket. We filled a trolley up uh, vegetables with a local chef an award-winning top chef. We filled that trolley up 50 quid. We went back to the college. I invited four other MPs, and we had a bake-off, like a cook-off. And we, we, we prepared then, I think it was about 170 meals, and we put them into containers and froze them. Now, that's enough to feed a family of five for about 50 quid. Now, they're not massive piles of what you get at the local carvery, but they were enough. They were nutritious, good-value meals. Now, I think when people say to me, that junk food is, is, is cheaper, that's nonsense. You can buy fresh vegetables still uh, and shop around for your cuts of meat and you can make some good meals, some good, tasty, nutritious meals on a budget. And I think if we can get some people to do that, not everybody's going to be able to do it, but if we can get some people on that who then learn those skills and can pass them skills on to their children, then surely that's got to be a good thing. Yeah, I think I do think it's a good thing. I do think it's wonderful for people, as I've just said, to be able to shop and cook and all. I think it's fantastic. But I guess what I'm trying to get to is we mentioned there 50 quid batch cooking. Wonderful. But do you concede that there are people that have done all your tips, they've done your courses, they simply cannot afford to go to the store and buy the basic ingredients? You talk about 30p or whatever. If people don't have their 30 pences... Do you think your government is doing enough to help them? Well, government's already provided, you know, just another extra £20 million, uh, £20 billion, £22 billion pound in extra support. You know, there's direct support available from local authorities. You know, we just spent over £400 billion, pound, you know, wrapping our arms around the economy during COVID. The government has spent a hell of a lot of money 
supporting people. But, you know, my position is, yes, we have to support. It. There are a group of people we have to support. But in the meantime, instead of just throwing money at everything, let's try and help people. Let's try and, you know, give them that education, give them those life skills that they've missed out on. And if we can do that and help them cook, help them budget, like I said, they can pass that on to the children, then that puts, that, that, that puts this country in a better place. I, Lee, I, I'm going to ask, I'm going to try again because you have me on board with what you're saying about educating and budget and skills. That's wonderful. But you're still not kind of answering my question in the here and now. If somebody's sitting here watching this and there'll be people in your own constituency and up and down the country, they'll be panicking. They are, you know, anxious. They, they do not have the money. They, they're not eating themselves. You know, they'll be doing their best to feed their kids, but them themselves as adults won't be able to eat and it's all well and good we're talking about covid support and this that and the other and i saw the queen's speech yesterday we're talking about growing an economy uh, for the future that's all brilliant but in the here and the now honestly with a straight face lee can you honestly say that you think you're doing enough to help those people that truly truly are struggling well i think governments can always do more uh, you know, I, I've got to be in my bonnet about the uh, about the cost about, about the cost of fuel, a domestic fuel. You know, I want to see an end to the, to the green levy and VAT on fuel. And I tell you what, there's not many supporters in in both sides of the house on that one. Even the opposition are against me on the green levy. I want to see us frack. I want to see us in, increase gas and oil production. I want to see all these measures. You know, I want us to be. Um, self-sufficient uh, on domestic fuel. I, I would love for our country to be that to bring the uh, bring the fuel prices down. Because let's not forget, it is the cost of fuel that that drives a lot of these lot of these prices up and up. But you know, if people are genuinely struggling. Then I would say. Go and see your CAB, which I used to work for, by the way. I used to see people in poverty on a daily basis. I'm not in a bubble down here. I've helped those people budget. I've helped those people who've had debt problems. Go and see your local MP. And if you're really struggling, I'll tell you what, the invitation's open to come to Ashfield. If we can help you, we will. But if you need that extra support, then it's, it's our job as government to try and provide that extra support. Well, Lee Anderson, uh, we appreciate you joining us tonight. Thanks for that. And I am uh, going to take up your invitation. You say that we can come and join you. Uh, I'm going to come and join you. And I look forward to learning uh, and being able to share with the masses how they too can cook from scratch and budget and all the rest of it. But for now, uh, thank you for your time.